do we prepare our kids for high school and make the move less daunting for them and for us? Parents need to be reassured that high school is um, a very, very safe and supportive environment. There are many people that students go to if they are encountering any difficulties socially. I'm the Year 7 advisor and my job is to make sure the kids feel comfortable at school and I stay with them from Year 7 right through to Year 12. So I'm with them for every year that they're here at the school. They're encouraged to come and talk to me and I talk to them often, wander into their classrooms just to have a chat um, and try and get to know them on a personal level so that they'd like to come and talk to me whenever they need to. Orientation days are actually held when the child's in Year 5. So when your child's in Year 5, you need to facilitate by sounding out local schools, visiting them and going to their orientation days so that by the end of Year 5, you're solid with where you want to send your child. Children going from Year 6 to Year 7 can often be apprehensive about going to high school and what things they'll face. The transition program that we have from year six to year seven dispels a lot of that because they go and have days where they are actually in the high school, they get to sit in science labs, sit in English blocks, they're meeting with the teachers that they're going to have as a part of um, their, their daily timetable next year. At primary school everything's sort of done for them and organised for them. At high school you show up, it's a, a much bigger school, you go to A to B by yourself, your homework is, is due each day. Don't spoon feed the kids everything. Let them take responsibility. And by the time they get to year six, they should be in those routines that you've taught them. It's important to have your child into a routine for doing homework as it is in primary school, um, so that when they get into high school and have um, homework from a number of different teachers, they've already uh, adopted a good study program. Organisation is absolutely critical. You're coming into a totally different kind of learning environment. Lots of different classes, lots of different classrooms, lots of different subjects, lots of different teachers. In primary school they have all their equipment in a centralised location which they can go to and access for each subject. In high school the students require more equipment than they did in primary school. And all this they have to have organised and cart around with them. So to be organised is the biggest way of getting around that. One of the best things I a parent can do to help is to um, know the equipment that the child needs at school and in the early days of high school especially help them pack their bags make sure they've got a calculator make sure they've got the materials their, their mathematics workbook their you know their rule of pens and pencils help them do that because so what you're doing is you're, you're putting into practice a regular routine for parents to best assist their children with that it is keeping on top of the organisation, so making sure that they have a journal, a diary or a planner, preferably on the fridge or somewhere really, really obvious um, that everyone in the family is going to see, parents and child. Making sure that there is homework time set every single day. Remembering that in a high school, homework is very rarely called homework. It's most often called assignments or assessments or completing classwork. To establish those routines with their child as they get used to the very, very different and challenging environment of high school. I have students leave my class every year to go to high school and the next, the first day of the next year they run down and they're excited and happy. So a lot of the fears we have are because of the unknown. So it's really important just to be positive about the experience of going to high school. Sometimes parents think that when their child comes to high school that they need to take a step back. Um, we would say not a step back but a different step, uh, that they're still there supporting their child and our experience would be that those students or those children who do really well in high school, their parents have been there in some way, shape or form supporting them through their six years at high school. And you can find more information including a video called Starting High School at schoolatoz.com.au